Welcome back everyone to Self Principle. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi and on this channel, we talk about all things related to nutrition, health, and of course, kidney disease. With that, today we're going to dive into the world of chronic kidney disease and the role of a low protein diet when it comes to preventing or delaying dialysis. Now, before we dive into the newest research, it's important to understand that CKD or chronic kidney disease continues to affect about 15% of the general population in the United States. That translates to about one in seven people. But that's not the scary part. The scary part is, one, it's a progressive disease, and two, about nine out of the 10 people who have chronic kidney disease don't even know they have it. In other words, because there are no symptoms of it, by the time most people discover they have chronic kidney disease, it's usually in the much later stages, stage four or stage five, or even walking in and requiring emergency dialysis. And this is why understanding chronic kidney disease is so important. And you want to make sure you keep your blood pressure checked. You want to make sure your sugars are well controlled. Your weight is good. And you're seeing your doctor so that your blood and urine tests can be checked so that if there's something going on, we can go ahead and treat that right away. Now with that, let's go ahead and dive into this study, which was published in the Journal of Renal Nutrition. And in this particular study, they looked at 325 patients with stages four and five chronic kidney disease. They followed these patients between the years 2008 to 2014, and they focused on a number of factors. One of those factors was their protein intake which ranged from less than 0.5 grams per kilogram of ideal body weight to greater than 0.8 grams per kilogram of ideal body weight per day. And so they basically had four different groups of various protein intakes per day. After about four years of follow-up, here's what they found. 10% of the patients in the study passed away because of a number of causes. Half of the patients in the study ended up requiring renal replacement therapy, in other words, dialysis of some type, and only about 2% of the patients actually received a kidney transplant. As always, kidney transplants continue to be very difficult, very rare. And if you're somebody who donates a kidney, kudos to you. It's an amazing thing and an incredible honor to be able to give a kidney. So thank you to all of those who have donated a kidney. Now, here's what's interesting in the big takeaway of the study. Those on a low protein diet, meaning less than 0.5 grams per kilogram per day, they had a significantly lower risk of needing to go on dialysis and they had a significantly lower risk of all-cause mortality. So in other words, a low protein diet might delay the need for treatments like dialysis or may slow down the progression of kidney disease. Now, before everybody jumps on a low protein diet, what you want to understand is you want to talk to your nephrologist and you want to talk to a renal dietitian so you can make sure you do this in a safe manner. The reason this matters is because you don't want to become nutrient or amino acid deficient while you end up doing that. And a dietitian can help you to come up with a comprehensive strategy. But the bottom line here is, we have presented many studies that have shown that a low protein diet can be very helpful. And number two, the ideal type of protein continues to be one that is predominantly plant-based protein. There you have it, guys. Another reason to decrease your protein intake with kidney disease. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, like, and share, and I'll see you guys next time.